Hello everybody, this is Inspired Jo Min, and today we're going to do a Gakudan school uniform jacket today. Now if you're interested in this video or you really like it, hit the thumbs up, but keep watching to see how I made mine. In 1879, Japan decided to adapt, if not get inspired by this jacket, from the Prussian cadet uniforms during the modernization era, and they decided to take it upon themselves to use it as a school uniform. Then on, the Tokyo University for Imperials decided to use it for their school uniform with stand-up collar six years later on. From then on, it started becoming a school uniform and then a costume for anime, cosplay, and even alternative fashion, if not just for fun. To get started, you will need a runner track base top. You're going to need some fabric, some buttons, some ribbons, and the right type of threading for this project. I decided to go to Walmart and Joann's for the productions of this. Lay down your black fabric in order to see how much the length would be. Then take your racer or runner's jacket and make the base pattern of the top. You want to go ahead and just lay it on the fold so that both sides are even because we're going to do the center front first. And then we're going to go ahead and line it up with a either chalk or a white colored pencil to help you outline the shape of the top. Now keep in mind that when you do this, you have to make sure your collar area is as close as it can be to the neck, so you add in the collar later. But once I've done sewing the sleeves on and the front and back, so the center front and back, this is what it should look like. Now I'm going to proceed in to add in my collar. I'm making sure my layer is folded over twice and on the fold so it doesn't fray out, and then I'm going to add in my white inner freezer. All I really did to add the collar is take a black piece of fabric, folded it over after I sewed in the first piece onto the collar area, and then I'm adding on the interfacing. That's all you really have to do. But now this is the tricky part because you have to make sure both sides look even and pure. They really like fold it in, making sure they look nice and neat. Leaving a bit of the white piece on the outer side of the collar to make it look more uniform. So as I mentioned before, you're just tucking and pinning to make it more crisp and clean because when you sew this down, you want no edges to be shown or like to be frayed out. That's the point of doing the collar for this. And yes, I did adjust this later because I made it too big, but this is the idea of how you should add on your collar to the Gakudan. Now to show you the errors of my ways, I made the sleeve a little bit too big around the shoulder armpit area. And right around the back, I have to add some darts in the back because I have a curved back, but also the collar. And remember what I said about the collar? I made my collar too long, so I had to make it more fitted to my neck. So once you make the shirt's collar a little bit more fitted to your neck, it's going to fit more easy. So you have to go ahead and auto adjust or just make your sewing adjustments. And, and that's how I made mine, so this is exactly how it looks. So now that I have my shirt collar fitted more to my neck, I have to fix the mandarin collar for the uniform. Now what I'm taking is I seam ripped it off and I went ahead and just measured it around my neck. I found the right measurements so it lines up perfectly when I add the buttons. And I'm going to go ahead and take some sewing pins and place them in the area I needed it. And then I'm going to cut it off and then sew it onto the shirt. But first we're going to iron it down. Now, even while you're ironing, remember to fold in the edges because this is going to be important. And then, you know, safety pin it if you have to, but make sure while you're safety pinning it, you can iron it neatly and carefully so you're not melting in the pins. But this actually really helped me out a lot to keep everything straight and perpendicular. It looked more like I bought it online. Even my friend was kind of shocked because everything was very neat and no edges were showing. Now I know this video is fast forwarded, but please pay attention to ironing every piece. I didn't have an ironing board with me, so I took my bath mat that was microfiber and I placed it onto a ottoman and I ironed everything down. So once you have all your pieces, make sure to sew it. But now I'm going to go ahead and do the button linings. Now if you have enough button like opening area from your fabric, you don't have to worry about this, but I forgot to like leave more space onto the front of my center frame. So I'm just taking a folded piece of black fabric and I'm pinning it down because I'm eventually going to sew that onto the jacket itself. So I have an area to put my buttons and I'm doing this on the other side of the jacket as well for the button hole area. Now I'm going ahead and I'm lining up the extra button 
fabric. So I'm just lining it up to each edge. Once again, you want to line up all the edges together to make it more clean and cut. Because when you sew it down, it's going to be all clear. But once you have this, you can just pretty much sew on the buttons, make the buttonholes, and you're pretty much done. Hopefully this helped you out with getting your own cosplay, costume, or alternate fashion style the way that you want. And make sure, once again, that it fits you perfectly. It doesn't matter if you're curvy or not. You can look dashing, handsome, and gorgeous regardless of your size, okay? Oh, to give you guys a little bit of pointers, my lipstick came off, so I do apologize. Um, this video was a bit of a challenge. See, look, it's... It's already, it's already stabbing. Sorry, normally I was gonna have my hair the same style as I had it in the video, but then it started stabbing my eyes. Some improvements I would recommend if you are making this DIY from my video. I did do a pretty good job of making this jacket, but there are some points I do. So for instance, if you're a female such as myself and you have either big boobs or um, just small boobs and you don't have a binder, you might need to take that in consideration. Um, while I was buttoning everything up, even though I am a B cup, yes, I'm calling my boobs out, it still was in the way of things because I made it for a more slimmer cut like for me if I wear a binder. So for instance, I just tell it to everyone because keep in mind when you use your pattern, make sure it fits you with the binder or without a binder. As well as also make sure if you want your shoulders to be more wider, this is something I noticed when I wore the actual um, Gakudan blazer. Um, I noticed that not only does the collar doesn't fit because my boobs are in the way, but I wanted my shoulders to be a bit more wider and I should have put maybe some shoulder pads in there. The Dorito effect, like how some men have broad shoulders. Do not forget, if you like videos like these, the like button is there for you. Do not be shy. Just as the subscribe button is there as well. It keeps you notified when I have videos when you hit that bell notification because YouTube, they be slack. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and I'm really sorry that this took so long to upload. But with that, I do want to thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness, and it's only up to you to make every day beautiful. I'll see you ladies and gents later. Bye! What you gonna let them see? <laughs>